better for me on the water. I wouldn't mind it at all. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm glad I could. We're still on regular Wi-Fi, but I do have Boom. So once we start breaking up, I can switch over. Yes, Boom. Hi, Ireland. Good day to ya. Good day to ya, laddie. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing like sail away, especially if you haven't come out of New York Harbor when you go out under the Verrazano. I did video it, I just couldn't periscope. And uh, so everybody had a great time thinking the boat was going to hit the bridge as usual. Yeah, I, you know, if I had been on that February cruise, I really wouldn't have had any problem. I think I would have really enjoyed it. Don't. We are on Anthem of the Seas, heading for five days to Bermuda. Well, actually, two days in Bermuda, two sea days on either side of Bermuda. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, the bridge is way back. We've already been underneath it. <laughs> yes, my, my nephew Sean's model hands there. And then we're looking towards, I believe that's Queens. And then further away is Long Island. Well, maybe not a Titanic, but I wouldn't mind it a little rough on this open water. Brooklyn, okay, all right, yep. Yeah. I'm a Cape Codder myself, so I don't get down to New York City very often. I am, that's my next drink is the frozen mudslides. I love them. So far, I have had a, let's see, a, oh, now I need a strawberry daiquiri and a mango lava slide. Yeah, that one tastes like my dad's rum drinks. Lava flow, that's it. I've never had a lava flow before, so yeah, lava slide, lava flow, something like that. I had a mango one, and then I had a strawberry daiquiri. And uh, the Statue of Liberty is on the other side of that bridge way back there. We actually were very close. You know, we could see it really well. If you have a camera with a good zoom, as I do, it feels like you're right there at the Statue of Liberty, but it's not right next door. Yes, I, I had the mango one. I'm going for a strawberry next. The mango wasn't my favorite, but with the unlimited drink package, I could trade it in for a strawberry daiquiri. Our plans for the night. Well, my nephews are 18, and they are on their way this evening, yep, <laughs> to uh, the 18 to 20 year old meetup later on. We're the American icon that we're going to be eating in at 6.30. 
And I'm going to be roaming the ship, so you might hear from me yet again. Because I'm on my own. My husband, unfortunately, had to stay home because our truck engine blew. I have been on Explorer many times and Liberty twice. This is my first time on the Anthem. It is absolutely a wonderful ship. Yes, I know I will like the lava flow. Pina coladas and strawberry daiquiris, I can't imagine. And you're very well welcome, Wilson. So, I guess, uh, and Rich, you're welcome. I am going, I've got already a, book, a cruise booked on Harmony for next year, next September, with the Royal Caribbean Blog Group Cruise. And let me see here, I'm going to switch you around. It lets me. Yes. Hey! It's hey, everybody. Down. It's upside down. Are you upside down? Sean's telling me you're upside down. <laughs> Got my uh, my Mardi Gras beads and my Royal Caribbean blog t-shirt on. And the one thing I forgot, the one thing was a comb or a brush. So this is what I've got until the stores open up. Um... So yeah, we're having a great time. You can see we're on a boat. Yay! Oh, we always have, we've only ever had a balcony on the Harmony. We are in a junior suite, so that'll be our first junior suite. No, that's exactly what I said, Kat. I said, I've got ship hair, it just doesn't matter. And I'm gonna go jump in a hot tub later on and it really won't matter. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm going to have to find that cat Chris scope. I saw that you guys met up earlier, so I'm going to have to find that. Um, so anyway, feel free, you guys, if you have any questions when I'm scoping, and I'll try and figure out what's going on. And if you, you know, anything you want. Yeah, I'll look at it in a little bit, Kat. I gotta, I'm going to have to go and charge my phone up a little more, but I will. Yeah, 134 is way too far. I will tell you that uh, my husband couldn't come. And he told me tonight, one of the things I'm going to be doing is booking in the next cruise office. February, on the Anthem, to the Bahamas. So uh, I will be on it in a few more months, and I'll do more scoping. So, uh, Sean says we're turning. But we will be doing that, Sean. This is his first cruise. My nephews have never been on a cruise, so it's wonderful to experience it from their eyes. Hey I have not cruised in Europe yet. I've been to Bermuda many times. Uh, we live in near Cape Cod, so it's really easiest for me to go out on a ship out of Cape Liberty because, you know, I've been to Maine and Nova Scotia so many times. I could travel out of Boston. I only travel on Royal Caribbean. So we just come down to Cape Liberty and get on a boat. Or, you know, we do fly down to Florida sometimes, but that's about it. It is very, it's about 81 degrees. And you can see I'm leaning back against my balcony and my hair is not really blowing so much now. So uh, not, not much wind. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop that. Uh, I've caught some of them. But I'll catch all of it. Well, you want me to fall over the balcony? You can go. Bye bye. And uh, that's it. Look at that. He fell over my balcony. Boom! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know what their issue is when they think they have to get on here and just start creating havoc. I really don't care. You know, my husband's a truck driver. We own a trucking company. If they think I haven't heard what they're saying, ha, 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 another word for them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we can uh, block, fine. I'm basically blocking it for you guys. I just let it scroll on by. and But I, I do think that's just wrong. Exactly. Boom. Gone. So, uh, anyway... I got it, my battery's on like 15%, and I don't want to lose you guys without saying bye bye. Uh, so I'll be back after, hey, uh, after we get uh, some charging, and I'm going to go run all around. Well, you're bye bye. <laughs> there goes another. 
Yep. Yeah. We don't talk like that on my Facebook. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you're all enjoying it. Um, actually, let me go back the other way if I can double tap. And we can do a quick crew, a quick cabin on my last 15. So here's my nephew, Sean. Steven is out at the pool looking for girls. He's single. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually, this is our first time having chairs like this. They're very and comfortable. And I absolutely love it. They are comfortable. I sat in one, I almost fell asleep. Very comfortable. There's that, Ka Kathy says hi, Sean. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so the room's a little bit messy right now. We could probably do a bed. I'll do an official room, room scope, but you can see, got drinks. This is a D1 cabin. Well, they, they do actually recline a little bit. And we had our sign ready for sail away. Is it breaking up? Uh-oh. Okay, I'll go back out. I'll say bye. Yeah, I came back on the cat on the balcony. So I'll give you one last look as we head towards Bermuda. By the way, on the uh, bridge wing, I was the only one to know how to get out there. And you should have seen the people's neck jaws just drop open when I went out and shut the door and they couldn't get out there with us. Oh, that was great. It was adorable. Um, I did show them after, after a spell. All right. So here we go. Sun setting behind us. Yes, three in the room. Me and two 18-year-olds that are over six feet tall. So I crouch. I will say <laughs> bye, everyone. I'll be back later. Thanks for joining us, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.